Hey guys, this is going to be a quick little video to show you the street light that I installed on the front of my new shed. Um, just a little project this afternoon. Oh, it didn't really take me that long, probably took me about 10-15 minutes of uh, working out how I was going to mount the pole to the shed. Obviously the street light just bolts to the pole because it's designed to bolt to a pole. Um, uh, I've wanted to put a street light up here pretty much ever since I got this shed. so. That's why I did it. There was a little spotlight come, uh, mounted on the uh, point of the um, roof there. I'll show you how it was done in a bit because there's uh, another one on the other end of the shed that are still have, that's still up there. Um, but the uh, street light itself is a uh, Thorn Beta 79 125 watt mercury vapor that I got for $10 from the lion's shed. Um, the pole is just a steel pole that I got from Bunnings and then to attach it to the roof you can kind of see but I simply just cut some bits of sheet metal, drilled some holes in and then kind of use them as a clamp with the screw um, and uh, then the screw goes into the roof it's just the screws, I pulled two of the screws out of the roof and feed them through the thing so there isn't actually any new dr holes drilled in the roof it's just using the roofing screws you can see the cable coming out the back there. It's an extension lead cable that I put some uh, irrigation tubing over just to protect it from the sun. Um, so yeah, uh, you can see here's the uh, sticker that's on the bottom of the light. I believe I have two of these and I believe they're from 1988, as you can see, made in Australia. Um, <coughs> <coughs> if I sound sick, it's because I have COVID. Um, but uh, the uh, pole, as you can see, is just raw galvanized steel. And I was thinking I'm gonna, I might paint it the same color as the shed because I have some paint that's the same, that's this uh, color. So I might paint the pole for the same color as the shed. Um, I'm gonna get my camera stand because um, I am currently uh, reorganizing everything in the shed, rearranging everything. But uh, uh, the switch is inside. It's the switch right here, the top one that says outside. Um, so I can't switch it on and see the light at the same time, but if I just put the camera stand here, um, you'll be able to see it turn on. I'm going to go and turn it on now. It isn't cold. I had it on, uh, probably about 15 minutes ago. 15 minutes before this video started, I turned it off um, so that you could see it warm up. It was actually still a bit warmer than I thought it was. Um, I'll probably uh, make another video of it in the future, and obviously I can put different lights up on this pole. So if you want me to, if you want me to uh, put a different light on the pole. Uh, I'm not planning on changing this one, but if you guys want to see a different light on the pole, um, I'll think about uh, putting a different light on the pole and uh, making a video of it. Um, but this one will probably stay up here for a while. I have two Sylvania Urbans, two Philips Metros, another one of these Beta 79s, uh, and AB2224. Can't wait to see how uh, how much this thing lights up out here once it's dark. Um, already I can see it's making a difference just immediately in front of it. On the ground there's more light than there is around. But uh, yeah. It'll be great to see once it's dark outside. I am going to put this light on a timer as well. <coughs> uh, 
um, so that it comes on automatically uh, and turns off automatically as well. Okay, it's pretty much at full brightness now. You can kind of see the green tinge and everything on camera, even in person, it's a more of a white with a hint of pink, but you can see on the fence how much of the fence it's lighting up, how much of the ground, you can see it's casting a shadow off the table. But yeah, it's a nice bright light because it's 125 watts, so it's a bit more powerful than the uh, Sylvania Urban that I had on my old shed for the longest time. That light was only 80 watts. And I do still have that light and I could put it up to see what it looks like, but I think I want to leave the 125 watt light up for a bit. I do actually have a 125 watt Sylvania Urban as well, but it's missing the um, bowl. I'll go ahead and show you what uh, used to be up here for a while um, before the fences were up and before the place was secure because I didn't feel comfortable putting up a nice light that I really liked while anyone could still just walk, off, walk in here off the street, but now they can't. So this is what was up there before. It was just another one of these, exactly the same. I have two of them. Um, I'm planning on putting a street light out here as well once I get another pole because I don't have another one of those poles. I only have one. That's actually the same pole that um, I had the Versalux street light on at the old place before I started making YouTube videos. But I think that might have seen... I think that, that was in a YouTube video, that pole. Um, I think it had... I think it had my urban on it, I want to say. So, yeah back in here um but yeah that's just a quick little video to show the uh this uh, street light that i have um that i installed on my shed today thanks for watching